Hi, this is Ken Rizzo with Wood Turner's Wonders. I'm very excited to talk to you about a new product we have. It's called Wonder Slick Stick. And it's, it's almost a miracle how well this stuff works. It's used by the US military. Um, and it's used in applications of grinding and cutting. And uh, it keeps uh, CVN wheels from loading up with particles of metal. It can be used on band saws for drilling operations. Uh, and a very, very tiny amount goes a really long way. The problem with uh, grinding wheels specifically and other types of abrasive materials uh, is when they get loaded up with material and metal fragments, they just don't work as well. They just glaze over, don't work at all sometimes, or you get excessive heat buildup uh, and they're just not as efficient as they, they could be. Uh, when you use Wonder Slick Stick, uh, you will find that to be a thing of the past. Uh, the hardest uh, application use that you need to learn is just how little of this stuff uh, will get the job done. It works at a molecular level and it's almost miraculous how well it does work. All one has to do to use this product is it comes in this very nice handy tube with a little crank up uh, bottom on it, similar to chapstick or deodorant. Uh, and it's what's so amazing is you just need a little smidgen of this stuff and it works incredibly well, as you'll see in our demonstration. Okay, so for our first test, uh, we are gonna take the CBN wheel and we're going to uh, grind a copper pipe into it. But I first wanted to show you, uh, this is a 400 magnification uh, microscope uh, where you'll be able to look and see on this brand new wheel, the CBN crystals in their present state, uh, unaffected by anything because the wheel is brand new. So for our first test, uh, we're gonna take some slick stick and we're gonna put it on a wheel and then we're gonna grind a copper pipe into the wheel, which is something you would never think of doing, just to show you how effective it is and how easy uh, the wheel will be able to be cleaned. Now remember I mentioned that you just want to use a very tiny bit of, of this uh, product. So we're just going to start the grinder a little bit, shut it off, let it coast, and go right across the wheel just like that. And that's all you need to put on there. If you happen to put too much on the wheel, you can take a piece of cardboard or something, or a stick, and uh, wipe some of it off that way. Wow, getting hot to hold now. So you can see <laughs> with the smoking copper pipe here that we've did a number on this thing uh, with this wheel. So here's a 400 magnification of this CBN wheel uh, depicting a uh, large chunk of the uh, copper uh, that's gotten uh, embedded in the wheel. And this is throughout the wheel um, from the grinding operation we just did on this wheel with a, with a copper pipe. So we uh, put a circle around where the big chunk of copper was that we had uh, got uh, a picture of with the microscope here. And now we're just gonna take some paper towel, just rub it off like that, and then bring it back to the exact same spot that we had it at. And we have a mark on the back of the wheel as well. So we could, uh, and you can see the wheel is uh, perfectly clean. Okay, so you can see uh, after grinding it very aggressively, a copper pipe into this wheel that had the slick stick applied to it and simply taking a paper towel uh, rubbing it uh, against the wheel, we were able to remove uh, all the uh, embedded copper uh, that had accumulated up to that point. For our next test where we're going to purposely load up a wheel uh, that does not have slick stick on it and then show you how you can use the slick stick to clean your wheel. Uh, we picked a higher grit wheel for this test. This is a 350 grit wheel and you can see uh, how much uh, smaller the, the grains are uh, in this particular wheel. So now we're going to do what no wood turner should ever do. We're going to take a piece of copper pipe and we're going to grind that sucker into this uh, CBN wheel without any slick stick. So hang on there. <laughs> Sure. 
Well, it's funny how that heat travels down that copper, doesn't it? Okay, so uh, as soon as this thing slows down and stops, uh, we're gonna put some uh, slick stick on this and show you how to clean your wheel. Okay, so you saw that I just uh, jammed a bunch of copper into this wheel. And if you look over here, you can see there's a whole bunch of copper. There's some over here. And uh, we're gonna clean this spot now and show you how to do it and come back and show you uh, how the uh, slick stick help get that stuff out of there. So we're gonna do a little bit of a rub of material on here. And if the stuff is really embedded, uh, you can just use a little stiff wire brush like this, a brass brush. Um, most of the time you might even be able to just use a paper towel. So we're gonna try that, just rub it for a second like that. And then uh, use a paper towel wipe it off and this mark uh, that we put on the wheel is where that spot is that had that big uh, clump of uh, copper on it and we're going to bring it back down to that mark and you can see that it's gone okay so you can see how we just uh, pretty basically cleaned the wheel it was pretty easy to do uh, you know, if your wheel has quite a bit of buildup on it, it might take more than one application. Uh, use a good wire brush in a case like that, work it in real good. Um, we like in applications like that where the wheel's real bad, after uh, scrubbing it real good with a wire brush, uh, we recommend using uh, this PV Blaster material. It's available at auto parts stores for uh, getting rusty bolts loose and stuff. Been using it for years. Uh, you can spray that on the wheel. Uh, work it in a little bit, wipe it off with paper towel. Uh, it'll help remove the uh, slick stick and, and all the material that's it captured. Uh, then after the wheel's nice and clean, you might want to put a little bit of clean coat of the slick stick back on the wheel. Uh, if you do this, your, your wheels will last longer, your tools will sharpen cooler, uh, they'll sharpen sharper, uh, and they'll last longer, and you'll be extremely happy with the results you get uh, with the slick stick. There are plenty of other applications for it as well, uh, and you'll be amazed at all the different things you'll end up using it for. So Slick Stick is not just for CBN wheels. Uh, we're going to do a demonstration here with a bandsaw, where we've applied a little bit of Slick Stick to uh, both sides of this bandsaw blade. We have approximately a 12 inch uh, diameter log here and uh, about a 15 pound weight that we're going to use to pull uh, this little sled we uh, built with the log attached to it uh, to put equal pressure. And I think you'll see uh, just how fast uh, this uh, slick stick makes your bandsaw cutting go. There will be no binding of the blade and it'll just whip right through it. So in some place we'll start the bandsaw. So there you see how fast it cut uh, right through there with just a little bit of slip stick on both sides of the blade. Uh, this will be uh, a really helpful cutting bolt blanks and stuff. Uh, I know it's a very common place where the blade wants to bind and everything when you're trying to cut a circle on a real thick piece of wood. So uh, this is another very good use of uh, slip stick. Thank you very much.